Hello and welcome back to another Definitive Edition custom scenario. This time we are going to be playing Moses, Prophet of the Hebrews. We've already covered the first two, and this one, like the other Moses, is split up into multiple parts where you have to keep Hero Zufu alive. So let's start out by reading the history section. Although current archaeological evidence suggests a native Canaanite origin for ancient Israel, the stories of Exodus and the 40 years wandering the deserts of the Sinai shaped Jewish cultural identity and resonated with later oppressed peoples. Even in 19th century America, African Americans suffering under slavery and racial oppression connected their plight with that of the ancient Hebrews and the biblical stories served as a catalyst for change in American society some 3,000 years after their purported events of the Bible. Therefore, whether the events of Exodus actually occurred in history, their impact upon history has been considerable and continues to this day. Now we'll see these hints for the, or the instructions for the first part. This is the story of the wanderings of the Hebrews in the wilderness. This is a three-part story. It is recommended to refer to the scenario instructions screen as you complete each part of the story. And during all chapters, Moses must not die. Part one is preparing for the Exodus. Set free by Pharaoh, the Hebrews encamped at Pi Hahirath to prepare for the crossing of the Red Sea. The multitude gathered their belongings for the long journey east, but Pharaoh's heart would be hardened and his armies would soon attack. After miraculously crossing the parted waters of the Red Sea, the Hebrews would need to find water. Fortunately, the Lord God promised Moses that water would come forth from a rock at Rephidim in a land held by the hostile Amalekites. Objective Gather resources and train units for the Exodus to the Promised Land before Pharaoh decides to attack. You have approximately 10 minutes. Cross the Red Sea and bring Moses to the stream at Rephidim. And then we'll, when we reach there, that's when the next part begins. You know how some other parts. So let's look at these hints. We have a population limit of 40. They will attack in 10 minutes, make the most of your limited time to gather resources, train units, and move your people to safety across the Red Sea. Some villagers got lost on the way from Goshen. Seek them out before leaving Egypt, but beware of hostile wildlife. Before leaving Egypt, it is important to collect enough wood to build resource gathering buildings. Otherwise, you will not be able to collect resources on your journey. Okay, so we don't want to end up like that one land nomad game where I deleted my lumber camp as the Huns and couldn't build another one. Uh, you cannot construct a town center, so you will be unable to train additional villagers after leaving Egypt. Train as many as you will need. Okay, so make villagers. Resources are rare in the Sinai deserts, but there are pockets of life as well as gold and stone resources if you look for them. The temptations of the golden calf are great. Prioritize killing the priests of the golden calf, worshippers, or you may lose many men to their false god. The Edomites to the east pose no direct threat, but their lands contain resources and their villages can be converted. Okay, so we're going to have a town center where we can train villagers, but after about 10 minutes we have to run away and then won't have a town center, but need to have resources for uh, building drop sites and... There will be other ways like converting or finding Gaia villagers to get more villagers. Okay, let's play. Okay, let's just start. Uh, Aisa, Aisa. Let's hunt that. So the Egyptians will attack in 10 minutes. So let's attack the elephant then. Oh, wait, there's a storage pit. Oh, don't, don't lose the villager. Uh, heal the villager, please. Okay, so you're Moses, you gotta survive. And let's do some exploring. I got another elephant over there. Some things I can move. And what is the first place? Uh, capture artifact. Okay, lots of... To the marked area, there's like lots of marked areas. Okay, uh, let's just do some exploring. Use the priests too. Keep the uh, stuff coming in. I feel like we're going to have to leave a lot sooner than 10 minutes if this is what they're going to attack us with. Okay, just some crocodiles over there. Oh, yes, villagers. 
save the villagers by this. Uh, they had alpha crocodile. No. I, I lost to crocodiles. Okay. And after that last mission, I wasn't really expecting to die to crocodiles again. Like extra. Where am I being? Oh. Okay. Alpha lions. So those villagers will die too. Let's just see if there's any more villages I can carelessly get killed. Let's keep you training units, or training villagers. Okay, those there are just some normal... Normal villagers. Alpha lion, alpha lion, alpha lion. Uh, shoot the elephant. Oh, don't, don't walk back, elephant. Okay. Could have been lowered a bit more closer to the town center, but that's fine. Now yeah, we have another alpha alligator. He's a bit better at dealing with them than our chariot archer friend. Even though he's not quite as fast at running away. That could be a bit of a problem. Hunt the gazelle. Alright, I've already used up three of my minutes and I haven't even gotten to the... You're gonna have to heal. Oh, that, that alligator is strong, or that crocodile. Okay, let's see if there's... Will you attack a priest? He, he will? Okay. I was hoping they'd be like, hey, we two wolves and not attack priests. Okay. Uh, losing priests probably not good. And run, run. Just get away, get away, get away. Don't die to the alligator. You, you can help kill it, right? Oh man, that guy is strong. Uh, now we're being attacked by... That the lions, lions, no. Uh, do you heal? Okay. Uh, rip my villagers. Okay then. So that did not go well. Why am I bringing these villagers towards the lions? Killing one, like two hits. Okay. Um. So this is probably not a good idea to go hunting lions, but oh well, we're doing it anyway. I haven't been queuing villagers. That guy was already hurt from the other villagers. Okay, now we have a few more villagers, though. Probably actually paying attention and not idle in the town center would have been more valuable. Oh, I have these swordsmen that can kill lions, too. I could have used them. Oh, look, here is the parted Red Sea. Oh, nice. Okay, I guess we have maybe another minute or so of gathering resources, and then we've got to cross this Red Sea. Oh, not more lions, nope. Okay, um, I, I think we've uh, got all the villagers we can get. Let's, let's get out while the, while the getting is still good. Let's cross this Red Sea. Um, anything else we might want? Let's... Uh, upgrades? No. Let's just go. Mass exodus from these lands. Man, it would have been nice to have had a priest, but okay, can we build temples? Okay, uh, should we, like, should we wall off the Red Sea so we're not followed? Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Let's lead with, uh, with Moses. Okay. Maybe we can convert one of you. Oh, don't don't attack without me telling you to attack. Okay, conversion, probably not. Oh, are you guys my allies? No, okay. I was like, that Tursa didn't change to a sword. They must be my friends. They are not my friends. Please get the conversion and don't die. And you died. Oh, there goes my priests. And now Egypt is attacking me. Goodbye, friendly stuff. 
Okay, good thing we have that wall protecting us, and good thing we have priests to heal Moses that totally did not die before getting a conversion. I should have walled him in with the villagers. Uh, no, no lions. Gotta shoot them, I guess, three times. Okay, well, there's apparently some gold that I could gather. Guess I can't get food from the lions. Uh, not sure if there's a point to killing them, but we can do it anyway, just in case we eventually need gold. Looks like there's another passage here. There's some more alpha lions. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, is that use that hill bonus well there? Wait, wait the, the lions can pass through there, but Moses can't. Okay, there we go. Okay, those guys are improved. Okay, I can outrange them, so no worries. I hope oh, there's a swordsman. Let's see if there's a bit of a hill we can take. Okay, those guys are fast. Okay, you villagers. Um, there's a tree you could chop. Oh, do not run into the swordsman. All right. Uh, oh, oh, don't aggro all the swordsmen. Okay, just a run interference, please. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, villagers. I wish I still had that priest alive. Okay, so there's some more bowmen on that hill I can kill. There's a lion there. Let's take out the bowmen first. Oh, no, not another swordsman. There you go, trapping with the villagers. Let's get a good villager wall for the... Let's get the villager wall to protect him from the lion. Oh, don't, don't attack the villagers. What are you doing, the lion? Maybe all of the villagers attacking at once will be better at killing lions. Uh, but not at killing improved bowmen. Oh, that, that's only three villagers lost there. Well, we are almost not housed. Did I take that villager? I did. Being not housed will probably be good. Okay, take off the guys on the hill now. Do not attack until I tell you to attack. Oh, there's some stone there. And stone means we can build towers. And towers means we need a granary to do a tower upgrade. We can, we can actually build towers. Okay. So let's actually go down here. Again, you guys will just stand there and hopefully protect Moses. Oh, nope, nope. Uh, run? Ah, oh, no, he's gonna die. <laughs> okay, let's use Moses to kill some of these lions. Okay, villagers this time are kind of safe. Let's just kill the lions just to be extra safe. You kill that lion now. And there we go, the villagers are safe. Gotta keep queuing. Okay, that went much better than last time when all the villagers died. Okay, I, I want to know if there's something back here behind all these alpha lions. 
can't just make a passage and then not hide something secret back there, right? That's not how games work. All right, so what's back here? Oh, more villagers, yes. Okay, we're off to a much better start this time. Okay, you guys just drop off. We got two minutes, and then we're going to start running. I would love just to pop out that scout, and I think we've gotten about everything we can get. Other than maybe... Archer armor, hopefully Moses benefits from that. I think we established earlier that he doesn't actually benefit from that type of stuff, though. Okay, drop off all your resources, that extra food, and yes, we have a scout. Scouts will be good. Produce anything else we have that's back there we might need. Okay, we have one minute. Oh, we have two more villages. Let's see if they can make it. I don't think Moses will actually benefit from that, will he? No, he doesn't. Oh, stuff crashed again. Okay, one one last priest. You got 15 seconds. Can you make it? Maybe I can hide you down here. You're not going to make it. No. Goodbye, priest. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any other upgrades you want? Cavalry? Nah, I think we're... I need to do the I need to do the priest moves faster. Oh well. All right, now that we're across the Red Sea, let's just save. Ah, oh, there you go. Already walking off to try to kill guys you have no business killing. This time we will be successful at the conversions. So we have three priests. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, Egyptians. Thank you. Oh, I could have advanced to the Iron Age. That would have been interesting. Okay, but now I have a pretty big army of these short swordsmen. Just time to go kill stuff with the Moses again. Alright, now let's just use Moses to block. Block, 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 block. Okay. Lost a priest, we got two swordsmen. I don't think that was worth it, but we still have two priests, so... Oh well. Oh, camels. Camels would actually be a good thing to have priests to convert, I guess. So let them regain their priest juice a bit. And then we'll block with these guys. See how much blocking we can do. Hopefully that blocks. What just got... Okay, something just uh, got destroyed back there. Lovely. And... Oh, look, look at him trying to run around and shoot that camel. So my hope is that they try to run this way and not around the back, but it looks like that is pretty well blocked. Oh, yes, we got one of them. We will immediately die, but we can get some more conversions as they're running around. Oh, yes, look at the range on those priests. Are they not coming? Oh, yes, they're not even coming after us. We got the camels, yes. Okay, let's just come scout out what's in front of us with our scout here. We're almost at that blue flag, which is, I guess, where we have to go. Let's just see if we can get a few more conversions on these priests. Can I build a dock? Uh, no, I can't. And we'll just use kind of a combination of priest uh, conversion and Moses to get through the rest of this. Okay. You lost your control group for some reason, but that's okay. 
We got one conversion, so that's good. If you, well, I guess we want to take out the swordsmen who are down here. Block, 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 block. Okay, you almost died, but you didn't. Some double healing action going on there. Yeah, Moses all healed. And one more set of guys to attack. And I guess there's probably some archers up on that hill. Oh, they have a granary. And Moses, run, run. Oh, block, block. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, we'll, we'll get that conversion. Easy. Here we go. You need to heal. Heal. Oh, Moses isn't really that damaged. And, oh, there's improved bowmen there. Okay, we actually got some more archers. I'll be in need of a few archers on the road ahead. Okay, so this might be where we have to go to end this part. Just don't die on me, Moses. Kill all their stuff. And we go heal. And you guys just come over here, I guess, and we'll build some buildings in the wilderness. I'm above my pop limit, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to build. And this thing is still alive. Well, I'm Egypt, so I guess that means I'm going to build chariot archers. Can I build a... Oh, I can't build a temple, which will be great because I can build priests. Stable, archery range, academy. Just can't build a market. Well, I guess granary makes sense here. I guess we'll just have to continue going from flag to flag. Through the wilderness of sin, this chapter begins when Moses reaches Rephidim. I guess it's the pond we just reached. Moses and the Hebrews traveled through the deserts of Sinai. It was in this time that Moses received the Ten Commandments and dashed them against the golden calf that Bezalel and Oholiab constructed the Ark of the Covenant and that Moses dispatched 12 spies to the land of Canaan, and they reported a land of giants. Objectives recover the Ten Commandments and place them in the Ark of the Covenant artifact, destroy the golden calf worshippers, find the 12 spies, scouts returned from Canaan. Okay, so we need 12 scouts, an artifact, and to kill an enemy. Actually, let's check out those hints. Hints, uh, we found those villagers. Uh, pockets of life as well as golden stone. Temptations are great, killing the priests. Okay, so that, that tells me that's so many villagers. We probably want some chariots or chariot archers to kill priests. So let's just use our scout and we'll do some scouting. The terrain glitches a bit. Where's Moses? You guys only have six range, so you're not really that useful. And if Moses killed those bowmen from down here on the cliff. And then use a scout to do more scouting. Can he reach them? I hope he can. Mm, can he reach that swordsman? There we go. A couple over there. 
Is there anything else down here? Some stone and some gold and some camels. Let's not fight the camels. Okay, then we will quickly gobble up those berries. Oh, and there's fish there too. Let's build a... Oh. Okay, we got two conversions again. That's nice. Uh, I think we'll win this fight. Do, do I have to micro anything? No, I think we just win. Their, their pathfinding won't actually let them attack. <laughs> okay. So, just for purposes of gathering wood, let's build a storage pit here. Yeah, get these guys out of the way. Gather a bit more wood. I probably have way too many villagers. We'll build a storage pit here so we can gather fish and stone, I guess? And we'll use the granary to research Century Tower. Because, who knows, maybe we'll need to tower up somewhere. Okay, now let's bring Moses and the Swordsman down here. And we'll just use the Swordsman to deal with the camels. Along with Moses. And then keep scouting to the south. So it looks like there's some pretty good resources down there. Be remiss not to gather them. Now this camel's actually pretty strong. Let's see, now what do we have down here? Bring the scout. Okay, so lots of stone. Ooh, even more stone. Okay, so we're going to be fine as as far as building towers is concerned. There's some food down there. So you guys will use a storage pit to gather those fish and that gold. Okay, perfect. Let's just do a bit of micro here. Do some crossover moves. Oh, they actually did quite a bit of damage to Moses there. Oh, he almost died there down to 11 HP. Okay, now we have gathered all of the resources we can there. Uh, just to do something useful, I guess take some stone. See if we get any secrets from taking all that stone. Let's let the priests heal you. Keep scouting. Where's my uh, scout? Did I lose my scout? Oh no, there he is. Now let's reach across the cliffs and shoot them. Yes, we can do that. Oh, no more guys there. Okay, time for some more healing. And what do we have up there? A few more short swordsmen. Just bring my swordsmen forward. I'm ready to take a big fight. No, I, I can. I have enough conversions. I'm okay with losing a few soldiers. There you go. Didn't even lose anyone. Who has a bigger line of sight, Moses or the scout? Looks like or the priests. Looks like the priests probably have by far the biggest line of sight. The scout's also pretty good though. Up. Uh, We can get another conversion. Yep, there we go. Moses, go finish that guy off. Oh, that's a lot of slingers. Let's keep the scout alive. Keep the scout oh, pathfinding, please. Here we go. Keep the scout alive. Okay, uh, those camels should move up, as well as those archers. Uh, just fish, I guess. That's all we really can do now. Uh, priests heal the scout. 
Moses, you can keep moving forward, and we'll want to heal that camel too. Oh, oh, catapult. That is... That's dangerous. Well, we can just take it out with the camels. That, that could have been bad, but it wasn't. And we'll try to... Whoa, what are you doing there, little slinger? Okay, got another conversion there. Nice. Keep healing, guys. There's some more gold there. Forty's too small of a population limit for this. There's some more gold up there. It's like I, I feel like I should probably be deleting villagers at this point. Maybe we'll mine that stone. I don't want to spend too much wood on storage bits, though. As wood seems to be the uh, the resource we are most lacking. Oh yes, there's three of the twelve scouts. Oh, well, where did that guy come from? Um, convert, please. Don't kill my villagers. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's get that stone. All right, so now we have a. Uh, have some scouts. Okay, they'll be in groups, and we'll, so we'll have four groups of three scouts that we need to capture. And we're back to fighting alpha lions. We'd already taken some HP off of that one. Okay, you guys just get uh, have a little fight there. No, no worries about that. I wonder if Brown is just going to be consistently sending small units to attack me now. That's a lot of guys, send the camels. Uh, the, uh, they're just back there. The sidestep micro. Uh, you clear up that guy while we go and heal with these priests. Attack, please. And got him. Nice. Oh, there's some more... Okay, some more good resources there. <laughs> Let's get a storage pit over here. And use these scouts to start scouting. Which way do we want to scout? I feel like... Let's scout this part of the map first. I don't actually know which is the next objective and which is not. So we'll just wing it and go over there. We have tons of towers, though. Or tons of stone for towers. Uh, oh, don't lose the scouts, please. Thank you very much. Kill those bowmen hiding in the woods. It's cute how they're hiding in the woods. It's a nice little touch there. And we'll keep scouting with Moses. I feel like Moses is just by far the most powerful unit, so we scout with them. Ooh, we got to find some... Are we, like, finding the Ten Commandments inside of the ruins? Or are we just capturing ruins? That doesn't look like it was an objective. Still haven't found any golden calf, uh, calf worshippers. Let's shoot that lion. Oh, yes, we can get it. One little bit of healing on Moses. And uh, I can't quite reach that. This is a pretty big map, now that I look at it. Oh, look at that little sneaky lion going over the cliff there. Oh. Uh, can we actually get up here? No, but we can kill a lion. Ooh, there's some more resources up here. Nice. 
We should probably just run forward with our army, considering it's so large. We want you to run away. Nice. Having priests is really nice. Oh, there's a stone thrower up there. 12 range compared to 10. We can convert that. <laughs> yes, let's get that stone thrower. That's Babylonian. Why is it taking that long to convert? Yes. I don't know what we can do with this, but we have it. Here's some camels up there. Let's just keep using... Let's do a bit of scouting. And we can be a bit more aggressive now that we have a big enough army that it's pretty much guaranteed to survive. Go, oh, do not attack. Go on the no attack stance, please. <laughs> Lost one camel, but no big deal. Oh, villagers, villagers, we can convert them. I, not like I have enough villagers already or anything. No, well, just prevents me having to walk all the idols up there. Okay, so we're starting to find some more villagers and some more resources. Now let's not let them build a storage pit. I wish our pop limit was bigger than 40. We have some more ruins. Let's capture them, capture them. I saw a villager walking up there. Yes, more ruins. Okay, let's let's just go to the north. We'll finish scouting the west part of the map. And it looks like they'll just keep sending villages to to be captured by me. So that'll be great. And I'll finish that off. Oh yes, more scouts. Perfect. There's some more fish we could take. There's a camel. Don't want to fight the camel with scouts. Fight the camels with the camels. And then we can actually take control of our stone thrower. Get my hotkeys mentally sorted out. Okay, we got that group of camels. Look at all these resources we got. Okay, so we're getting kind of close to that top of the map area. So there's a few more camels here. I guess it's kind of blocked off by cliffs though. No, oh, look at another villager building a storage pit. We probably just sent tons of villagers now to repair that storage pit and lose them all. And some more camels. See if we can fight them mostly one at a time. No, camels are down. We will keep scouting. <laughs> Those guys just keep building stuff there. Uh, heal you up and then kill these camels. Actually, we'll just kill those camels with these guys. No need to. Bring the camels down there. Okay, so these... This wilderness is pretty abundant in resources for us to use to survive. Oh yes, more scouts. We only have one more party of scouts to find now. If I just undid my Moses hotkey. 
<laughs> Boza Saki. Ooh, there's a bit of a divide by this cliff. Ooh, there's a town. Oh, can we actually travel that way? That'd be pretty cool if we could. Okay, there's a watchtower there, but I don't know how to take care of a watchtower. Speaking of which, I should probably have a priest of mine go and heal that. Well, you can just... I, I don't need villagers. Uh, let's just do those because I have plenty of resources for that. I don't even need to bother with that. Let's just mine some gold, I guess. Yeah, I'll take gold there. Oh, plenty of gold. Oh wait, I just heard a priest somewhere. Oh, are those... As long as they don't convert my... Uh, stone thrower, then we're good. I actually went down pretty fast. Oh, no, 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 don't fire at Moses. Do not fire at Moses. Okay, take out the camel. Protect, protect, protect. Some disrespect to go straight. Ah, uh, killed my scout. Hopefully I don't lose the capture scout objective if they die. I'm just going to hang back and calmly let the stone thrower kill the tower. Okay, Moses can join in, I guess. And you guys can protect the stone thrower. There we go. Uh, focus archery range now. Not my scouts, please. Oh man, these stone throwers are awful. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys protect the stone thrower. Okay, what is down here? now. This is a storage pit, some more camels we had bypassed earlier. Okay. Uh, you guys go in, dive in, and take out that priest. No, stand ground, one more tower to take out. Let's take out the buildings. Uh, good Moses, get him involved. Okay, we're going to need to train another priest. Right, good, don't throw a kill, Moses. Okay, now we are going to try this again, but this time we'll be a bit more, a bit more re relaxed when it comes to keeping that stone thrower attacking or. Let's just dive in with everyone and start killing towers. Okay, if it's just a scout that dies. Just have to make sure the stone thrower does not kill Moses. And let's actually build a couple of our own towers down here. Can I upgrade them again? No. Oh, looks like those villagers died, but their towers are doing the job. Oh, there's the the golden calf worshippers I gotta kill. Let's kill them with towers. All my villagers that could have killed that villager have been moved already. 
I just have one camel attacking there. Okay, all of those villagers are going to die now to one swordsman. That's not good. Did I actually just lose all of my army? I think I did. Just have to play this with towers from here on out. Or actually, I could rebuild new army. Like chariot archers, which will actually be much better than the old army. Except against the camels. But I could build an academy units to deal with them. I actually build a siege workshop now. Just keep making towers. Oh, I can't make chariot arches because I don't have the uh, upgrade for them. But improved bowmen will probably be nice. Don't lose Moses, don't lose Moses. Okay, and a few hoplites after we build houses. Instead of waiting, we'll just do uh, researches. Oh yes, I can queue researches and units. Nice. And composite bowmen. Oh, those will be nice. They won't have all the range they're supposed to have, but they will still be nice. Let's continue building storage pits. And I guess we can come down here and add in a couple of... Actually, we'll add in some ranges for composite bowmen if it's priests we're going to be fighting. And they'll have gold there, so that's an extra 800 gold I'll be able to take. And, oh, I have a short swordsman just hanging out down there. See if there's a couple of units there he can kill for us, reclaim that gold. Oh, they built their own stuff there? That ain't good. Should probably build another temple just to make this go a bit faster as far as training priests is concerned. Just repair that for a bit. Oh, everything is like right here. I'm gonna need a lot more hot plates. Try not to lose them. Attack that. Should probably just build up better. Oh, they killed Moses again. <laughs> Let's keep Moses extra safe. And we will press forward and build some towers as we do so. to defend this location. Don't let them mine the stone I could be taking. And then we'll try to take a fight underneath towers. We'll use the swordsman maybe to take out that tower. As you can start taking out that tower. Queue up some hoplites. Delete a few useless villagers. Oh crap, I'm being attacked down there. Uh, I should not have deleted those villagers. Oh well. Try to concentrate on the tower if you can, please. There we go, some guys there. Okay, they're concentrating on that wall. Uh, you guys chop the wood. And maybe I can wall... Okay, good, they've stopped. Let's go back down there and re-wall that. There, there, they, there they come. Straight on the ring. Take out more of his towers. Oh, he's going straight for Moses, is he? No, 
Okay. I gotta be real careful about Moses. Just keep bringing these towers forward. Hot plates, if we can. Take out the range, good. Take out this building so our units can move forward better. And I think this is going quite well. See if those villagers actually made it down there. Looks like they didn't send another one. How's Moses doing? Oop, I set my scout to my Moses hockey. Let's keep him safer. Stone thrower there. Let's take out the barracks. How have I been defeated? Moses was alive. Okay, let's check out these scenario instructions real quick. Okay, don't know how that happened, but we got defeated. Okay, so we'll just double up these walls down here, be extra safe. Okay, so what is it that's triggering us to be defeated? Actually, I don't really need the bowmen. Okay, let's focus on taking out the military buildings then. It doesn't look like I'm on a timer. Maybe we should just try not to destroy the town center. Where am I being defeated? Moses is alive. Okay, let's let's investigate this. I have a feeling that one of my non-Moses units is dying, and that's what's causing me to lose. Let's figure this out. Seems like it might have been one of the camels. It's, if we delete all the camels, we delete the scout. No. Like we we ourselves can delete everything except for Moses and still make it through. I don't even know where my other villagers are now. Couple guys there. Where are the rest of my villagers? Are here? I don't know, you guys. So everything except Moses is dead, but we're still alive. Okay, that's interesting. Why are we losing? Okay, uh, I guess the new idea is instead of fighting them, we're just going to mass wall them off, avoid them, and attack Orange down here. Let's build a tower, I guess. Let's have a couple of you come here to build more towers. And just use the towers to fend them off. A few towers behind that wall should suffice. A couple towers here. Are you going? Chop the wood, please. Okay. So they seem to be attacking this side of the wall, just get the tower there. Okay, now we are completely walled up and towered, and apparently we can't attack them because we end up getting defeated. Which is, uh, kind of unfortunate, and I'm not sure what's happening there. Unless I'm completely missing something in the scenario instructions. Let's check that one more time. 
Moses must not die. Got to the first part. Find the 12 scouts. It's not because my units are dying, because we know that they can actually die. Destroy the government centers of the of those guys. They reported a land of giants. Maybe we're destroying the Ten Commandments somehow? I'm not sure what's going on. Either way, I think these swordsmen are not very useful. Let's cancel the hoplites though. And I will send the camels down here. Oh good, these guys don't cost any... Just delete some of the idols. Get some population space. Put a couple towers there. I'm like running out of resources that I can take. And you guys are not going to be very useful. What I instead want is lots of these. And I can pass a bowman down here for taking on the priests. So I think some range will be good against the priests and combined with camels. Maybe we can do a good job. So I guess the only thing left is to really, really long distance mine that pile of gold over there. And we have all of the researches we can do, have all the priest upgrades we can do. I'll just let them continually run into those towers and kill themselves. Seems like we can defend that wall for a good amount of time. Might want another tower or two though. Actually, put the tower over here. Are you guys all done? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Let's get one more of these. And we'll be ready to run here into orange. Oh, crap, that's a lot of guys. Okay, let's run away with those guys and just rebuild the composite bowmen. And I think that actually will pretty much clean them up if we can get another route of composite bowmen there. Okay, so we'll solve that problem. You guys just go fish. Seems like we have contained brown for the moment. We add in one more tower. Don't want to use all my stone though, I'm running awfully low on stone. So let's... One more round and we'll head back. Everyone just go fish. Lots of fish we can take. We don't need to have idle villagers. This reminds me of how I used to play the Age 1 campaigns. Like there was that Greek campaign, I think it was Xenophon's March. I think it was the seventh mission, where you started out with a small group of units at one side of the map, and instead of actually playing the mission, I would just try to gather all of the resources, because you couldn't build a town center. I would just gather resources and like try to take 100% of all resources on the map. And I guess this is a spot where I could convert villagers, or I could just kill all of the villagers. Because I really don't need any more villagers. And we need to destroy the golden calf worshippers. I wonder if we can just completely avoid brown. We don't need to risk being defeated by killing this stuff. Oh, there's a set of ruins I want. Yes! Okay, well, let's just massacre our villagers.
Okay, uh, kill the stables, I guess. Run in with the camels, take out the rest of the buildings. I don't have a town center, just have a wall. And we'll just wait for the units to kill all of this stuff. Okay, golden calf worshippers are defeated. Looks like this will be how I get to that government center eventually. And I'll need to destroy it for some reason. Oh, scythe chariots. That's... I don't want to be fighting scythe chariots right now. Guess I will need some camels to deal with them though. They're in the Imperial Age. Another tower. Oh, look, there is the artifact. Uh, I guess I don't need to bring it anywhere. I guess I can just leave it there. I need one more group of scouts though. So that those scouts were there. Hmm. Maybe if I just run this scout up, then we'll be able to find some stuff. Let's uh, let's bring these villagers down here, and I want them to build a wall like here, so that we're not attacked. Where did that scout even run through? Like over here. Bring the scout up. Oh yes, we found the rest of the scouts. And what's happening? What's going on with these objectives? Apparently, there's one more scout that I need to capture. Could have sworn that was all the scouts. Try to run past. See if there's some more scouts somewhere. No, not there. Seems like I've already been up there. Unless I somehow missed a scout down here. Oh, look at that. Great swordsman there. Maybe you guys can kill the swordsman for me. Hopefully three scouts can take out a swordsman. Okay, got an idea. I'm gonna heal up that scout now. Then you can continue scouting. I somehow need to get one more party of scouts though. But I think we've kind of exhausted our supply of scouts and we somehow need to reload to get a trigger to work again as those objectives have disappeared. Unless there's scouts back here. But I'm pretty sure that we have captured all of the scouts at this point. I'm gonna have to go to the footage and confirm that, because I am confused. No, can't go there, okay. So there is, there's no more spots for scouts to be hiding. And we definitely have all of them. Unless there's one like hidden down there. Oh, or there could be one there. Just hope we can run straight past the towers. Okay, nope, no scouts there. Hmm. Maybe we have to capture the ruins? I'm at a loss for where else we can be finding scouts. Hey, let's just get some buildings down here, I guess. Probably some stables for training camels to fight the... Scythe Chariots. Ah! 
Let's just go straight for that government center. Let's see, kill the scythe chariots with the camels. Let's try to keep them fighting the chariots and then we can just stone throw her down. The tower is what we need to kill the chariots first. Okay, that's good enough. I can probably finish the rest off with bowmen. Let's get a couple academies up here too. What are you guys is range 7 plus 1, so you can't take out the towers by yourself, unfortunately, but we'll need to get that stone thrower down here. Let's see what's over here. Looks like they're not training units, so we just kind of. Let's just come in from the back. Oh, a transport ship. Now oh, that's interesting. Just coming from the back. Take out the government center from the back. No need to fight that. Just coming from the back. Maybe if we train a scout, we won't need to find one. It's probably a bit overly optimistic, but we'll build a storage pit down there, take that wood. Do a little stealth takeout from the back, and we'll explore the transport ship while we're doing that. Just want to see where does this body of water lead? Probably have to follow it to get to that government center. Which looks like it's guarded by a few hoplites. Oh, did I lose control of the artifact? I did. Uh, go get the artifact back. And I guess we can try scouting out here, checking if there's more scouts, but I swear I've gotten all the scouts. Let's see what's up here. Or maybe the transport is just a secret shortcut back of the back type of situation. Okay, there's a green villager. So I can just walk straight up here and get to this government center. Yes. Okay, and we'll see if we can transport over to anywhere useful. Does this scout actually go there or is there a cliff? And it looks like there's a cliff there, but maybe there's resources down there? Uh, okay, we'll bring you over here. Okay, let's see, only, I can only fit five units. Uh, okay, run away from the scythe chariot. Sacrifice you to get everyone else across. There we go. Looks like this probably leads down there too. Oh, there's some gold. Oh, hello, uh, purple. Are you... Neutral. You're neutral. Okay, well, if you are neutral, I'm just going to explore your land. Are you going to attack me? I guess so. Oh, I, I, I don't want to fight you, I just want to take your resources. That micro is not going well. Here we go. I'm just gonna do a bit of hopping on and off of the transport ship. Come down here. Here we go. This guy will just go down. Good job. And we'll have lots of resources down here to gather some more wood. 
And also some villages to convert if you need more villagers. Let's just take out the rest of these hoplites. Get on the boat. Go around. I could just build more of these guys, but let's just do a bit of micro. Alright, looks like we've cleared out all of the Edomites. Oh, what's back here? Just more hunch? Anything secret? That yeah, doesn't look like there's any secrets, just a bit of hunch. Ooh, we, did, we could mine a lot of stone to go through there. <laughs> but let's not do that, let's just use a transport ship. And probably get some villagers. I don't know if Moses can take on a scythe chariot by himself. Let's save before we fight that. Okay, just cut that. We'll make a temple so we can start healing Moses. And did we actually kill that scythe chariot or is it still alive? Looks like it might still be... Uh, actually, it looks like it might be dead. Let you guys come back over there. Villagers can come over here. And where's the stone thrower? Take out that tower. Have another scout we can use to scout. And we'll keep scouting. There we are. It looks like we can probably just come in with some composite bowmen, kill the government center pretty easily. Might have to run by a couple of towers, but not much resistance left. And then we just have to run through the cliffs to get to the final objective. Just try to get as much scouting information as we can. Looks like just a few hoplites and a couple, a couple of scythe chariots. And then Moses will have to be brought there, but we still need to get that last scouting party, apparently. <laughs> because that objective is not completed. Okay, let's get up here. Oh, okay, there's some priests here. Um, okay, thank you. Taking up population space. And you come up here, heal people. Okay, so I can probably just take the camels and hoplites and run up here and kill that, and then move Moses up. I don't need you. So I guess reloading one of those saves must have messed up the capture scout objective somehow. It's the quality product I would expect from my definitive edition. One more camel for taking on the scythe chariot, then we'll go. Oh, we can actually explore with the priests. Let's do that. See if there's anything interesting up here. Looks like just some more cliffs. Oh, 
You guys go straight for the chariot, you go for the tower. That went pretty well. I'll just send you up there for now. As the rest of everybody will take out the government center. Actually, let's see the, uh, the instructions for the last part. This chapter begins after the golden calf worshippers are defeated and the twelve spies are found. Moses and the Hebrews wandered the desert for many years as punishment for not having faith in the Lord God. After 40 years of wandering, the Hebrews defeated the Amorites, and Moses stood upon Mount Nebu to look upon the promised land that he would not enter. Objectives destroy the government center of the Amorite kings. Og and Sihon bring Moses to Mount Nebu, double flag, to look upon the promised land. Don't, don't take the path under the tower. Take the not dangerous path. There we go. Double flag. I guess that's a double flag somehow. Okay. Now somehow we're supposed to have four capture scouts and we've done all four of them, but we have two and we've done one. Um, and this is not the marked area I need to bring him to. Oh, there we are. Oh, that's a very small area. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Um, since I am at a loss and don't know where any of the other scouts are, and I think I've actually gotten all of them, let's just do a bit of cheating here. I don't see any unclaimed things on the mini-map. Here's the good old Red Sea. There's an artifact up there. But that's not accessible from anywhere. Egypt. You know, we very well could have killed Egypt. That would not have been very difficult. Just a few composite bowmen probably would be enough to deal with this. Maybe a few camels, but I would not have posed much of a threat with all these resources. And let's see, so green, pretty simple to take out. I suppose I could still win at this point just by defeating all enemies. But since it's kind of glitched, and there clearly are no more scouts to be found anywhere other than this promised land. Yeah, Moses, you definitely are not going to enter that promised land without those scouts. And apparently Brown, we get defeated if we kill Brown for some reason. And... Yeah, so the the few things kind of went wrong. Let's just home run our way and win this scenario. Just do one more save at the end in case we want to go back. But yeah, let's just do a home run. We got we got the full experience anyway. Moses looked upon the promised land, that which was promised to Abraham, and a land of milk and honey. He had led his people from bondage to freedom, but it was not his destiny to lead them finally into this land. For this, God had chosen Joshua with spear and a ram's horn in hand. The new leader of the Hebrews would fulfill God's covenant with Abraham. Okay, let's just go back. Check that one more time right from the start and make sure we got all this, scouts. So let's see, there was a group of scouts. That's the artifact. Those scouts. Is 
are those the scouts I was missing? I had gotten those scouts. I had gotten those scouts. Yeah, I definitely had gotten those scouts. Definitely had gotten those scouts. Definitely had gotten those scouts. And that was the last group of scouts I found as I was bringing my scout up here. So yeah, I definitely did find all four groups of the scouts. And they clearly are four of those that we have to do, not two. So uh, thank you, Age of Empires Definitive Edition.